that you haven't had any coffee. Excellent. Let's talk about superheroes, but before we do, we have to discuss villains. The uh, clicker seems to have taken a vacation. Is this the right one? Okay, there you go. Let's talk a little bit about villains first, because without villains, you can have no heroes. There's no need for them. We learned from TV shows, uh, crime shows, that a villain, in order to be convicted in a court of law, needs to have a means, a motive, and an opportunity to commit a crime. Well, you know, superheroes, frankly, are not all that different, right? A superhero has to have the means to be a hero, right? He has to have some kind of superpowers. A superhero has to have a motive, a reason to be a superhero and has to have the opportunity to change the world. So let's talk a little bit about superheroes and the means for a minute. We'll have a, for anyone, anyone here a comic book nerd? All right, a few, a few, a few, okay. So real simple, let's identify these superheroes based on their powers. Who can read minds around the world? Professor X, absolutely. Who can affect reality just by projecting his will through a little trinket? Green Lantern, Green Lantern. I don't say anything about the movie. Who has a flawless photographic memory and ability to learn instantly? Jean Grey, yes, Dr. Jean Grey, who has an incredible array of tools and gadgets. This is Batman, of course. Well, here's the funny thing about technology and social media and new media, things that have happened recently. These powers aren't limited to the comic book pages. You don't need to be a superhero with psychic powers to know what someone's thinking. Just visit Facebook or just check them out on Twitter. See what they're thinking. See what they're saying. You don't need to be a, a, a Green Lantern, right? If you want to change reality, start a blog. Anything from Ariana Huffington at the one end to Ola Nagale Village at the other end, which AJ Leon talked about yesterday, you can change reality just by projecting your will through WordPress instead of a ring. We don't need the uh, super psychic abilities. We have Google. We have anything you want. It's in your phone. You just ask Google and you get an answer, right? And of course, you have all these devices, right? It doesn't really matter that you, know, you may not be, have uh, grappling guns, but that would be cool. And it, sorry. Um, but you have so much more capability than the creators of Batman ever thought possible when they created him. If, let's wind the clock back to yesteryear. If you were to tell somebody, you know, I can know where all my friends are at any one time, they'd say, wow, that's a comic book in itself. We call it Foursquare, right? I say, I can see distant places without leaving my chair. They're like, wow, that's, that's a television show right there. No, that's called YouTube, right? We take it for granted, but it's there. You have superhero powers. So let's talk about the opportunity. I'll put that down. Let's talk about the opportunity to be a superhero. Do we have opportunities here and now in reality to be superheroes? Absolutely. This is Yushahidi. This is a piece of software that volunteers put together originally for elections in Kenya and has been used all over the world. The most uh, dramatic example is in Haiti. Volunteers put together a website, linked it up with the SMS network, and helped people who had survived the massive, massive earthquake to find shelter, to find food, to find where people were trapped, all just using their mobile phones. It wasn't, you know, it may not have been Superman lifting up steel girders off of people, but they were, they were saved nonetheless. Lives were saved nonetheless. How many people are familiar with Love 146? Okay, and almost no one. There is uh, a very dark crime. Talk about the villain of villains, child sex slavery. Right? No one in the mainstream media likes to even talk about it or even acknowledge its existence. These guys using social media have become you know, a household name to many, many folks out online because of the work they do, and it's unbelievable. They have used social media to bring the light of day and the light of justice to this incredible cause. Here's an email I got from a, a guy in February. I used to do an internet radio show called the Financial Aid Podcast. Um, talk about you know, niche new media. Hey, I'm gonna do a 10 minute internet radio show about financial aid. It was fun, you know, one guy at his desk, and it was kind of a you know, little cute activity that I did for about five years. This guy said, I listened to your show and I wanted to let you know my daughter's graduating from Western Illinois University this year. What I really want to tell you though is she's graduating debt free because of the stuff I picked up on your show. One guy at his desk, you know, tooling around with microphones and playing with gadgets, changed someone's life. You know, instead of having a quarter million dollars in debt, this girl's now starting her life out fresh. 
about uh, five, almost five years ago now, uh, four years ago now, um, a 16-year-old girl named Vanessa Donovan went missing just before Thanksgiving. She was 16, she ran off, she met a 38-year-old <clears throat> boyfriend on the internet, and the police gave up. They said, you know, two weeks have gone by, Sorry, there's not much we can do. We're pretty sure she's crossed state lines. You're in Connecticut. We think she's gone somewhere besides Connecticut, so we can't help you. Um, we'll let you know if anything turns up, but she's not coming back. So her uncle went online and said, guys, you guys have been part of my community. Help me out. We've got to find her. Someone has to know where she is. So I got involved, and using the power of these networks, we kind of spammed all of her MySpace friends, because MySpace was relevant back then, and kind of did a little digging around, and within... 24 hours of launching this campaign on MySpace, we found her, Coral Gables, Florida. Within 72 hours, she was in the custody of the police after the SWAT team came by with the battering ram. <clears throat> Boy, that 38-year-old boyfriend was kind of surprised. Um, and within two weeks, she was back home with her family. That's the power of this stuff. That's the power of this stuff. Are there opportunities for you to be a hero? Absolutely. The world is teeming with them. From a little village in Kenya, to a girl's runaway from home, to the, probably the homeless folks in your town, there are opportunities every day for you to be a superhero. So, that leaves us with motive. Here's the thing about superhero powers. Uncle Ben said it best to Peter Parker. With great power comes great responsibility. If you have these powers, and you don't have a motivation, a good motivation, to use them, they will corrupt you. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Now, for most people, this just becomes pretty simple. Hey, I'm going to market my stuff, buy my book, kind of things. Right? That's standard. But sometimes, depending on how engaged you get in the social space, it can take you to some very, very dark places. It can take you to being someone you didn't think you ever could be. The worst one, though, is apathy. We take these tools for granted, right? Oh, it's just a phone. Oh, it's just Twitter. Oh, it's just Facebook. It's like Superman saying, you know what? Smallville's okay. I don't really need to learn how to fly. I'll just stay here and harvest wheat. Becky McRae, that one's for you. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> what if he decided, eh, it's, it's ordinary. The stuff I can do is ordinary. Surely everyone else does it. There's really no need for me to pursue it. We wouldn't have you soaring above the fields, right? We'd have you trapped down in the wheat. What you need in order to be a superhero, to find that motive, is a reason to use this stuff that's bigger than just marketing your crap. It's bigger than just talking. It's bigger than just having a bucket of friends. Buckets of friends are nice, but it has to be bigger than that. It has to be a reason for you to do this stuff. Find a charity, find something to volunteer. We have a speaker coming on next who's gonna be talking about 21st century uh, nonprofit marketing. There are opportunities, and if your motivation is good, if you make the right choices instead of the wrong choices, or you make the tough choices instead of the easy ones in social media, you will walk away a hero. So, we know that you have the means. It's in your pocket right now, it's on your iPad, it's in your lap, it's in your backpack. We know you have the opportunity to be a superhero. Ask around, look to your left, look to your right, somebody has a cause, somebody has something that they need help with. The last question I have for you is, do you have the motivation? Are you ready to awaken your superhero? Thank you very much.